Hi everyone. I'm doing a um, setting up the pads for my V11. Unfortunately, my V12 went down uh, during Marty's tour. I am still waiting to hear back from Jason on how to proceed with that, but it's definitely a bummer when um, your wheel goes down. And I learned the hard way about not having a backup wheel. Um, I was nervous about having a first batch wheel, but I didn't think that I would have such bad luck with my V12. It's now gone down twice in like the six weeks of ownership I've had it. Um, hoping to hear back from eWheel soon to be able to ship it off to their, um, to their mechanics and figure out what's going on with that. But in the meantime, um, I scooped up this 84 volt uh, V11, not because I want another in motion wheel, simply because it was available yesterday and I have to have a wheel to get by on. I live on my wheel. If I don't have a wheel, I'm kind of fucked. So, um, you know, my van is more of like a living space um, and my car is really my wheel. So, um, lesson learned, always have a backup wheel because something can, you know, happen to any of your wheels at any time. And after going to, um, Marty's overheat hill yesterday, man, we had, I think like half the wheels down. Uh, I think we had two or three Shermans down. Sam lost his RS over a hill, but it turned back on. Allie lost her 16 X. Uh, and her husband lost his Nicola. I think they were all burned motherboards and it definitely smelled like there was electrical burn in there. But, um, back to the V11. Um, the V11 has a unique body. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, I bought some, uh, Clark pads, um, yesterday. I'm really grateful I was able to stop by and get a pair in it. Oh, and I also got a pair of the, um, the, uh, the Clark pedals for my EXN when it comes in. Uh, but again, this V11 is simply to limp me by until my other 100 volt wheels come in. I have an EXN coming. It should be here within the next four to six weeks. And I have a S20 on pre-order. And honestly, I'm really excited for the uh, the King Song wheel, 126 volt baby. It's going to be pretty sweet. Um, but right now I'm just getting the pads set up. Or I'm getting the Velcro on my wheel for the pad set up. Whoops. It looks like I'm dedicated now. So I'm going to stick it on there. Yee! Here, I'm going to like, just redo that real quick. Right? Trying to like line it up to the center. Cause once this Velcro goes on there, it's on there. There we go boom right there so I kind of put the velcro on there and make sure it's all straight and then I kind of try to roll it out because sometimes you get like little bumps in the fabric and uh, I forget who told me but you're supposed to put the soft side of the velcro on the wheel and the sticky side the hard like loops onto the pads themselves I'm not sure where my V11 pads are at the moment, but um, I did hear that there is drilling involved to hold the pads onto the V11, and I think it has something to do with the, the weird, you know, the suspension. The suspension adds a lot of complication to the uh, body, and uh, you know, you can see that especially with the S18, the Kingsong S18. The, um, the body of that wheel is really complicated with the suspension system in there and it makes uh, pad setup extremely difficult on the S18. Uh, I'm excited to have the V11. Honestly, I, I had uh, the S18 and it was a great little off-road wheel, but for Portland um, hard riding, I wanted to step my game up to the 100 volt club and that was uh, what the V12 was about. Um, but again, I'm just trying to uh, this wheel was just at the white, right place at the right time for the right price. And, um, for me, riding is life. I can't really not have a wheel. I'm on a, uh, you know, I'm traveling in my van. I'm in LA right now. Tomorrow morning I'm headed out to Phoenix to go ride, uh, with the Phoenix crew. 
which uh, used to be mostly one wheel, and that's where I'm from, uh, one wheel. I'm, I, you know, I used to be a one wheeler in Phoenix, and then I got my van and uh, traveled through Portland and discovered the electric unicycle, and thank God for that, because, um, you know, while it's more intense, it's, in my opinion, way more fun because it's more safe, as long as you don't get distracted too much by, uh, the guys like ripping and running because there's always kind of like a competitive um energy on the group rides um and it really sucks uh stepping into a new wheel but i'm happy for the opportunity to have ridden uh, i got to ride a sherman this week at Primardi's tour for a day i got to ride a um uh an rs high torque for the very first time uh on mount baldy i think it was and uh, those are all good experiences to have. I feel like every time I step on a new wheel, um, I learn a little bit about uh, uh, new vendors and new wheels and how to ride them. And each wheel kind of has its own unique uh, characteristics and qualities. There's definitely um, pluses and minuses for each wheel. I hate it when people ask, what's the best wheel? It totally depends on your application, man. Are you doing off-road like tight trails or are you like, crushing streets trying to like do long distances it, it depends on the application like what's the best wheel it depends on uh what you're using that wheel for and honestly a v11 um to do uber eats is pretty pretty ideal um my only issue with the v11 is that it's not going to have the uh water rating uh that i like to have for a wheel in portland uh, and that's why i did get the v12 for the waterproof rating but um, unfortunately, uh, the batch one wheel that I had had some serious issues, and uh, I hope that In Motion figures out the uh, the, the issues uh, with the V12 and uh, you know improves the batches as they go along, like all the other vendors do, uh, because I really did love the uh, the nimble power of the V12. It was. It was the big brother to the 16X besides the, um, you know, the reliability. That 16X, dude, I, I beat the shit out of that wheel. I rode that wheel through the rain all the time, and that wheel just keeps on trucking. You know, that 16X was a workhorse. Um, and uh, I haven't had such good luck with in motion, but, um, you know, I have my, ugh, I have a Gotway coming in pretty soon here, so... Um, you know, just because I have my experience with the wheel doesn't mean that you're going to have the same thing. You know, all the batches are different. Everybody has a different experience and that's cool. Like I, I like discussing, you know, like having like civilized conversations about the wheel uh, because I learn new things every day and I become a stronger rider by riding in different places with different crews. Uh, Marty's tour definitely had uh, some challenges. There were uh, some things that I personally would have done differently, but um, coming out here and having this experience and riding with uh, new people and meeting uh, other members of my community is is um, is always worthwhile. You know, I, I really do enjoy riding. I uh, love sharing the stoke, and um, I'm excited to head to Phoenix tomorrow and uh, have a whole nother experience there with that crew. So, uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, um, what's going on with my V11 here. Um, I'm padding it up. I'm going to take the, uh, pedals off of my V12, the Chris, uh, Chaput pedals and, uh, put them on, uh, take them off the V12 and stick them on the V11 and put the pads on the V11, uh, which were a custom set of pads. You can't just kind of throw any pads on the V11. It's sort of like the S18 where they need to be like special for this wheel. Uh, and I think again, that's for the suspension. But um, anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna try to get these pads on here, try to get these pedals on here. And uh, I will uh, do a check-in tomorrow when I'm on my way to Phoenix. So I'll see you guys later, bye.